Hey, wouldn't it be nice that you could drop an IFC file directly into PowerPoint? Well, apparently you can't. However, I want to show you a method which does work. It can use the open source IFC convert tool from the IFC open shell library. With that, you can convert an IFC file automatically. By default, it creates an OBG or a wavefront file. As you can see in the preview, it is a 3D model. However, if you drop it into PowerPoint, you see that the model is put on its sides and there are no colors. There is an alternative, however. The same IFC convert tool can also be used to export to the GLDF format. If you use GLB as a, for a binary extension, you can do the same conversion and in just a few seconds, this small file is converted into the GLTF file. Luckily enough, PowerPoint does support this uh, format. And as you can see, now the colors arrive and you have a 3D model embedded inside your PowerPoint presentation. You can even enhance the presentation uh, by adding some animations. No animations assigned at the moment, but you can look at the default animations from PowerPoint. However, be careful. If you assign, for instance, a basic swivel presentation, this treats the 3D model just as a 2D image. That's not really what we wanted to see. However, if you go to the emphasis effects, those are more suitable for 3D models. There's a turntable style effect, which is much better. If you go to the effect options, you can even refine it. And I usually set it to rotate or pivot around the object center. And then you can still refine it for having a full spin or a continuous animation. That way you can have an actual 3D model inside your PowerPoint presentation. Some final thoughts. Your file size will increase a lot. So please don't use large models. Keep it very simple. And you can refine the export with IFC Convert even further. Thank you for watching.